Hey everybody, Sister Fantastic here and welcome to today's video. It's a collab with my friend Erica Conger and we are using pictures of hiking trails that to inspire us. So she picked out a picture for me and I picked out a picture for her and we ran it through a color app and let the app choose the shades and then we just went through our collection and tried to, you know, match eyeshadow shades to the colors that were in uh, that the color app had drew out of the scenes and so for today my scene is a beautiful uh, hiking trail it's a body of water it, I guess you look over the trail and you see you know this body of water that she shared uh, that's near where she lives and I will post that picture um, at the end of the video where you can see you know just how beautiful it was and so there's lots of pretty blues and greens and so anyway after searching through my collection I decided that I would use shades from my pinky rose palettes and so there's um, a like a brownish um, shade and there's a greenish shade and uh, so anyway, it's going to be fun. It's going to really be fun to create this look. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. And so I'm going to use the brown shade that the um, that was selected for me in the crease. I've already done all my face makeup and uh, got everything set down. And so I'm going to start off with this palette here called Center Stage. And uh, there's several brown shades right through here to choose from. Uh, the one that I feel like is the closest to the shade that um, the color app chose is this one here called Star. It's kind of a mustardy yellowish brown. So anyway, I'm just going to lay this down pretty high up in the crease. And I used an eyeshadow primer today from Ace Butte, and the primer, this shade right here is going to help set that primer. And the yellows that are in this shade right here, I think, are going to work really, really nice with the blues and the greens. So anyway, I just want to tap that in and go pretty high up with the blending. And I'm only going to do one eye on camera and then I'll go back and uh, do the other eye off camera to help save a little bit of time. Uh, for those of you that um, have never met Erica or been to her channel, it's Erica Conger. And then over on Instagram, she's Erica Conger Beauty. And uh, she posts makeup looks all the time. She does lots of collabs. She's a real bubbly personality, a beautiful girl. Um, works hard, you know, serves her family, and has a full-time job. I don't know how she does it all, but anyway, she does. So now, um, I will put her link down below, and that way you can, you know, go over and check her out. I really want you to do that, and, um, you know, support her as well. Okay, there's several palettes here that have shades from... The picture in it and so the next shade that I want to go into is uh, this shade right here called um, truth right here this really pretty royal blue shade this is like the darkest shade in the in the look and so let me find a small like a detail brush here and I'm just gonna tap into that And I'm just going to go right here underneath the lash line with this really pretty blue. It's really pigmented. And I'm just going to do like an inverted uh, wing here. And I haven't planned this look out. I just know I have did some swatches and played around with the shades just to see, you know, how the textures and uh, finishes were and everything and see what the pigments look like and this is the one that's really the most pigmented so I'm gonna be careful with it 
and just use a little bit but I wanted to outline that part of the eye with the darkest shade okay and now in the same palette that greenish yellowish green shade called risk right there is the one that I want to use on the lid and so let me find a packing brush here let me use this one right here and I'm just going to go right in with this shade and this shade is one of those like really almost like a chartreuse green it's kind of got a uh, a pea kind of a green like a pea green kind of a shade quite a bit of yellow in it so I want to lay that down on the lid and let it go up into the crease and carry that over And I'm not worrying about that wing being totally perfect because I'm going to blur that out here in just a minute. And just smooth it out. Okay, so we've got kind of a really pukey looking yellow going on right now. Alright, now what I want to do is I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to go into this shade right here called Enchanted. And it's a really pretty so I'm just gonna put that I'm gonna take this into the crease on top of those yellows and this is gonna give me that almost like a bluish green effect that the picture has in that body of water for that particular shade of like medium blue that's that the app chose for me so anyway I wanted to share with you all a, a little bit more about Erica and how she and I connected our uh, we have a mutual friend Andy does stuff and Andy was the one that was t telling me about her and everything and you know telling me to hook up with her on Instagram and so I did and then I followed her on her channel and everything and then the collab that she and Andy did this last time together the two of them um, was so awesome oh yeah that's really pretty right there was so awesome and so I was like I've got to collab with this girl she is so creative and I think that I would really have a lot of fun collabing with her all right so I was able to use three shades out of this peacock palette right here that's a lot of fun that one is okay now I'm gonna go into this blue shade here in the obsessed palette it's called Joker so I'm gonna go in with a really light fluffy brush this one right here and I'm just gonna deepen this up in the outer V and I just get some more like blue just really bring out that blue okay so that's the only shade I'm going to use out of that palette right there and then I'm going to go into this one here called 80s baby which is a fun palette and there's this light blue shade here called Virgo right there it's a really pretty shimmer and I'm just going to take my pinky finger and I'm just going to pop that on the inner corner
and I'm gonna I want that to really pop so I'm gonna kind of pack it on and that way that green is right there on the lid okay all right so that is what I wanted to do for the eye I believe I used all the shades and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera, I'm going to do the other eye and pop on some lashes and I'll come back with you and do a lip. Alright, see you in a minute. Okay y'all, I'm back and this is the finished look. Which is really bold and really out there, especially with these floofy eyelashes, but it's fun to create. And so now I'm ready to do the lip and so I'm going to go in with this lip liner here from Dragon Beauty. And it's called Lip Job Liner. That's the shade of it, I think. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and line my lips. And I wanted to do a nude lip to complement the boldness of the eye. And so I'm going to try to go for like a a simple lip gloss and lip liner look. So I like this lip liner. And I got this in a recent boxy charm. Nice and long. So it's going to last a while. So I want to go ahead and use that. And then I'm just going to go in with a lip gloss. I've got this one here from Ulta. It's called Shiny Sheer Lip Gloss in the Ulta brand. And the shade is pink. So it's got some like golden undertones. And I thought that would be pretty. With the, you know, green I got going on. And the warmth of the lip liner. So just something simple on the lips. The highlighter that I'm using today is the new one from Ace Butte, the palette that I just received in my BoxyCharm. And so I chose the shade. Um, here, let me show you out of the palette. I'm using, here's what the palette looks like, and I'm using this uh, sh shade right here in the corner called Icy, which has got some like gold reflect in it. It's, um, there's green and gold reflex in that highlighter. Here, let me just swatch it and I'll show you. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. There's what that looks like super shiny I just strobed it on I didn't um, you know real light I didn't want to go in too heavy on the highlighter and I didn't put any shiny highlight on the brow bone because the I look I felt like was bold enough so anyway these palettes y'all they were super affordable for me to pick up uh, through BoxyCharm and they are pigmented this is the first time I've used them other than just watching them but BAM <laughs> Bam! In your face. So anyway, y'all head over to Erica's channel. Check out her look. And I've got her link down below. Thank you, Erica, for doing this collab with me. It's super fun. And I love the idea of finding inspiration in a scene. And thank you for choosing my scene. Such a beautiful scene. I love it. And I love the colors that came out of it from the color app. And... Um, I uh, can't wait to see your look and see what you're doing with your look as well. And so, anyhow, that's it for me today, you guys. Thanks so much for watching, taking time out of your busy day. God bless you today is my prayer, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!